born, and I can't begin to tell you how nice the sun feels on a day like this. It's 7.30 in the morning, 29 degrees outside. And without running the furnace last night, it, I woke up and it was 36 degrees inside. So I don't know how good my insulation is. I thought it was going to be pretty good. That's okay. I just turned on the furnace as soon as I woke up. There's my furnace working. Also, I'm dealing with, uh, you know, not having hydraulic levelers on the RV anymore. Got the yellow ones back on the tires on the passenger side, both in the front and in the rear. Oh, it's just too cold. I'm going to go inside where the heat's at. <laughs> We're getting there, we're making progress. It's 47 degrees in here. It's not 848, that clock's not right. I think it's 748. Jax, how do we do, man? How we doing, Buster? You doing okay, you cold? I'm sorry, we'll warm it up for you, okay? Jax slept right inside the blanket all night last night. He's so cute and adorable sometimes. Anyway, you scavenging? What you looking for? What are you looking for? Stuff. About uh, 25 miles from Benson to Tombstone. I don't want to say it's out of my way because even I 10, as it's going east, it goes up and then back over a hump. And to get to Tombstone and a couple other places down here, it goes down and then cuts back up. So maybe I'm adding a total of 50 miles to my trip. It's not bad, but I gotta stop by Tombstone. Everybody knows I love Tombstone, it's one of my favorite places in this country. So I got my coffee cup, my tombstone coffee cup that many of you probably seen for the last year. So, go check it out. As you can see, they've got this whole lot for RVs and buses, free parking. But, it's only for daytime use right here, so if you find a place a little bit farther away from like downtown Tombstone, you can boondock overnight. That's what I'm going to do. It's cold and windy, but uh, let's go into Tombstone. Here's the welcome sign, welcome to Tombstone. Now they do have Christmas decorations up still, which just feel like noting they're a little, little behind here in January, but that's okay. Watch out for horse poop in Tombstone. Lots of horse poop. T. Miller's Tombstone Mercantile. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of, a lot of stores and stuff. Across the street here is the Birdcage Theater, and I paid to go on that tour last year, so I'm gonna check out that video. I went through there and showed a lot of that. I don't know, something about walking on the wood planks through town is just really cool. And I think uh, because it's so early in the morning, that's why it's so much emptier here this year. See if I can get some information on any uh, gunfight shows as well. You've got to be from Clever or it's cold. <laughs> He's only got one layer. <laughs> this is a uh, big nose Kate's. Here's the inside of Big Nose Kate's.
All right, here's the OK Corral, famous gunfight site. Last time I was here, I went to an exhibit that was indoor, and it was kind of a like a, a skit inside. Today, I bought my $10 ticket to go see the uh, reenactment of the OK Corral gunfight. It's in the back of this, but I do need to go back and get my other camera, because depending on where I'm seating, I'm sure I'm going to be wanting to zoom in and do a little more than just what the GoPro can do. So it gives me a time to go grab a snack and uh, grab my other camera. But stick around to the end of this video, because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. They also do a separate uh, gunfight out here at this place. Buddy, if I had a key, I'd let you out. I really would. <laughs> Every time, that's Carly Bell. I can't quit you. All right. Oh, oh, he wanted my gun, so I gave yeah, it to you him. Lying, I did what he had to. Oh. Oh. oh, is he more? He ain't looking too good, Wyatt. You're not Bill. That man dies. You're swinging for it, Bill. Which means you need to let him go, or let him go and forget we was ever here. He just shot a man. Stand trial for it. That's how we do things around here. He's bluffing. Just get out of here, Bill. Come on, shoot him. Get tape with that Woo! That's just clear out. Yeah, good luck, Bill. Hey, where are you going? Get back here! Get your hands you're up, Bill. Shut up, Bill. No, you're good, but you can help me. Look, I've stolen a lot of money from the city. You need to burn all the receipts I have. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't come here to get mixed up in the law again. This town is going to make it. It needs some law and order. Talk to him, Wyatt. We can't do this again. You know how he is? Let's let him cool off. Hello, Virgil. Well, how do you do, Doc? How was Tucson? The festival was a bust, if you must know. Plenty of money to be had, you understand, but none of it rubbed off on me. So here we are. Quiet a man himself. Looking dapper as ever. Quiet, you sell the tongue devil. How is the respectful business trait yet? It's a place to be, Doc. Right, we pluck the money right off the tree. Huh. So happens like he's a new dealer. Quiet, whatever you've got planned, boss. Sell it like that, Doc. You're risking my neck. Strictly on the up and up. Oh, it's true. Wyatt's on his best behavior. I got half a mind. We go back down there, show him who's boss. Frank, we're not going back to the Alhambra. There's trouble we don't need. What I need, what I need is another drink. And it looks like you could use yeah, one too. Slow Come down, on. brother. I think you've already had enough. Had enough. I will tell you, I've had enough. Not the other way around. 
Now you're buying, little brother. Getting ready to go spread more lies about me, Doc? Now, Frank, I do believe I've ever only told the truth about you. You're a drunk and a fool. What? Hey, we don't need this. Not to worry. Tom, you see Frank talks and talks, but he never seems to back up any of those threats. Now, he is just coward. Now, you watch yourself, Holiday. Don't make me kill you. Do with your words, Frank. You threaten me, you threaten the earth boys, and I'm sick of it. Let's see what's set of this blood he's right here now. It's gonna be a break. Well, as you can see, I ain't fit for it now, but if I wasn't. Now, Frank, do this town a favor. Oh, it would be real easy. Hold on, Doc. Hey, I don't you want see you to gun on me. Tom, you get Frank out of here. You arrest oh. him. Come <laughs> <Do> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> message to your pal Holiday. We don't have time. Now look, you tell him he's got a fight coming, all right? An officer of the law. I don't want to hear that kind of talk. What about you, Wyatt? I want to fight you, Frank. No money in it. I reckon it's about time we fetch all this fight and talk to a close anyhow. Your boy see Holiday, tell him I'll be waiting for him. <laughs> Matter of fact, come morning time, I'll be waiting for all of you. Holiday, <laughs> you get on out here. I want to talk to you, and so does my gun. <laughs> well, you said let's finish it. Well, here I am. Go finish it. I get it, you're yellow. Woo! Count to three to get your ugly. No good. Yellow. Look, the car is out here and talk to me. <laughs> looking for somebody? I was looking for your pal Holiday. Had I seen you first, I'd have killed you too. Sorry to disappoint you. Morgan, hold him at the jail. I'm gonna go find Judge Wallace. You're right to shoot you down. You won't do it, but you're right. Get him inside, Morgan. Where's <laughs> Frank? Hey, Bill. Frank got himself arrested again. I want you boys to get him out of here. I don't want to see any cowboys in town the rest of the day. Can't be talking to us like that, huh? Talk to you how I please. I'm town marshal. You're just a lot of horse thieves at the state drop. Sheriff Behan may not care what you do between here and the Mexican border. We do. Sheriff Behan is a smart man, Virgil. He leaves us alone. That sheriff's gonna find himself living a nice, long, happy life. Unlike some folks I know. Is that another threat, McClowney? No, Morgan, I don't make threats. When I say men die, they die! Yo, with men like you my whole life, McClowney. You don't scare me. I'll go to Charleston, I'll go to San Simone, fight every man in your gang. You hurt my family, I will kill you. Tough talk coming from a dead man. Now you boys had your chance. You could have walked away, but just stayed here and tried to run us out. But we're still here, and we ain't leaving. But this, it ends today. Come on, boys. <laughs> Doc, you're coming with us. You got to do it my way. I want you to hang back. Hold on to this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no call me talk about it. And you heard him, Bill. He called his horse thieves and stayed drunk. Um, he stole a horse two hours ago. Billy! <laughs> Nobody likes you. Put <laughs> up your hands, boys, and watch your guns. Come on! Let's go shoot out one we'll fight! Bill. Anyway, guys, I had a really great day. I'm going to hang out with my kitty for a little bit, and we'll get back on the road. 
See you guys in a couple days. Meow meow. Oh, big flops. Big kitty flops. You comfy? You're gonna you're gonna roll yourself right off the table there, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. we got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later. <laughs>